I've been using track icons for pretty much all my life and I love them. I think they look awesome and it helps me a lot distinguish between tracks. When colors alone, they feel kind of limited. I mean, there's only so many colors in my palette. Just makes it even easier to recognize. And this is an example of how they look. These are the Reaper track icons. I've been using it all my life. And this is with the Reaper tip sleeve and my own custom track icons that you can check in the description. I made this and I am so proud of them. I think you're gonna love them. It's in the description. Here's how you add icons to your tracks. It's, it's very simple. Choose a track, right click on it, track icon, and set track icon. And then this thing is gonna pop up. Just select your track icon and there you go. Super, super easy. Now, I've been using this method for pretty much all my life and I think it's fine. But after using Logic and Studio One for a while, I realized they got a really nice interface for this. Then I thought maybe I could make a feature request for Reaper to implement better interface to handle track icons. Then I started sketching and coming up with ideas for features. And as I was writing the feature requests, I realized that maybe this could just be a script, right? Like everything can be a script. The thing is, I'm not a developer. I don't know how to do these things. So I reached out to the legend, Setsam. Then I asked him if this was possible to do. Then he replied with the bare bones of the script. And I was like, yes, how did you do this so fast? And like, this guy is insane. And then we went back and forth all day until we got the Polish version of the script. And we made it happen in just one day. That's just insane to me. Like I got this feature request in my head. I could just talk to Satsun and he made it happen all within a day. Like that's a major UX improvement to Reaper. And I love this so, so much. Check this out. I got this project thing here without any icons. I'm gonna bring up the track icon selector. So for drums, I'm gonna search for the drums option in here. Maybe this one. For bass, I'm gonna choose bass category. And let's go for this one. For guitars, let's select maybe this one for distortion, this one for crunch, and this one for leads. And that's it, uh, that was so fast, I love this. And I can instantly just choose any icons and it will show me the one that is currently selected, this yellow outline. I can also make a big if I wanna see a big like this. So it's just so awesome being able to audition icons so fast. And I also got this search field, which is very instant. And if I want something specific, like a sitar, it's super fast and it's pretty much how I think it should be native. Now, there's a few more cool features that you can find by right-clicking this button right here. For example, you can press to dock to the left and it might appear in somewhere that is not the left. I should change that wording, but it's pretty much docking and you can move it to the left side like this and maybe hide the sidebar and have it this narrow change the size of the icon and the cool thing is that you're still able to use the search field so you can search for drums and have all these icons in here maybe i want to use this one and this one over here or this one there's also a couple of other options when you right click for example the preferences to quit after applying the icon that if you only wanted to bring this up really quick and just select any icon that you want and it will quit after applying. You can also customize all the colors in here and show the sidebar by default if you want it to always open with the sidebar like this. That is also good. Now to install this, it's very simple. All you need to do is just have the Repack extension installed and it should be in the default repositories. And if you don't have Repack installed, I did make a full walkthrough video that you can check in the description showing you how to install Repack and how to install and use the script. Now I'm looking for feedback. I want to improve this. I want to make this better. So use it for a while. See if you have any suggestions. I have a list of things I want to change and improve. So if you can help me grow this list and then make this script better, I want to do this more often. It's just so fun being able to just simply improve the user experience of Reaper. Like, just like that. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And check out the Essential Icons Pack that I released. Very proud of it. And I think you're going to love it. And it's an amazing way to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.